When it comes to Vibe coding, there's all sorts of errors and problems that can come up. And a lot of people are left feeling like you can't actually create apps and websites without knowing how to code. Well, today I'm gonna to explain to you exactly why that isn't true. And there is a platform right now that basically covers every angle that a Vibe coder that doesn't know how to code will need to basically make the website of their dreams. So today we're gonna to be talking about EasySight because this is a platform that I think is going to absolutely blow the rest out of the water. Let's dive into it. So here we are inside EasySight. If you don't know how Vibe coding works, guys, it's basically really simple, right? But let's say we wanted to generate a site without using another AI for prompting. You can do this very easily on EasySight using these little things below. So these buttons will generate a prompt for you. So if I wanted to generate a portfolio website, it's actually just going to come up with that prompt, submit it, and then it's going to start coding this for me. And then from that point, I can go ahead and edit the site as I wish. And here you can see it's generated a full site for me based on a prompt that we simply selected here. And this is something that's great. And now we can go in and edit this step by step if we want. So what we can do is select the select elements button here at the top and then select any of these elements. Maybe we want to change the photo here. We can do that very easily. Or if we wanted to change the text, for example, we can do that here as well by selecting that and then typing in the new text here. And then once we're happy and we've created the whole site here, what we can do is press the publish button and then connect that to our WordPress if we want or just have it on easy site deploying automatically anyway. And as you can see, we now have a URL live or we can connect our own custom domain in the site's menu if we want. But if we did just want to send this to someone, we can just copy that and send it. And then yes, it is going to be something that will show up very easily for anyone that clicks the link. And as you can see, we have full access to the site here. And I will say this looks incredibly professional considering we didn't actually ask it for that much or even use an AI to generate any other prompt. So what you've got here on the left-hand side, it's obviously your dashboard, but then you've got your prompting area. So this is where you're gonna talk talk to your AI agent. You're going to say, hey, code this up for me. This is my vision. Get coding. Uh, yeah, make sure I don't have to hire a dev. And then normally what the AI will do, it will come back with some questions or it will actually go ahead and just start coding. And what I will say about this platform in particular, guys, I've given it a really hard prompt to test. And I just wanted to show you guys before I actually get into a tutorial here on how to do this. But if we just look at what this thing has created, it's actually shocked me quite a lot how good this thing is, right? So let's just reload the page to begin with. We're going to get full screen on this and you can see this is the demo that this is completely coded up for me from a single prompt. So this is the Cosmic Journal and it's basically going to be a nice visual way to view your journal posts on an app or on a website. So you can enter the galaxy here, they're called galaxies, and then you can see my journal posts here that I've put up in a little star formation. And the idea of this is to basically write in a bunch of stuff every time it's going to save an entry as a new star, and then you're going to have a path for your journal, uh, basically showing the history of uh, what you've written, which I think is a really cool idea. And I actually got AI to come up with this itself and then pasted it in here. But the fact that this platform can code this up so well, and it leaves the option for even more features as well, such as write and reflect, 3D galaxy view and mood insights. I do believe this platform is basically from this one prompt, basically just blown all the other ones out of the water. There is a reason for this. When it comes to other platforms that try and do vibe coding, a lot of the issues that come from it are the visuals. So you can see here, the visuals here are incredible and also the database functions. So normally you're gonna have to create a database on another platform. You're gonna have to connect the database. All sorts of codes and stuff have to be exchanged. But with EasySight guys, all you gotta do is select use EasySight's database as we'll show you in a minute. And it's all gonna be in-house and all accessible to you very easily. So good stuff there. Let's dive in to actually creating a website but first. You can also look at templates here to get this going. And as you can see, just based on all of this right here, there are lots of things you can do with this, whether it's a blackjack game, whether it's a landing page for your e-commerce store, you can basically 
create anything that your heart desires using these templates, or if they're not on the templates here, you can actually go ahead and actually just put in a prompt here and it's gonna generate it for you. So to get a good prompt here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over to Grok to begin with. We're gonna type in a simple prompt for Grok to come up with, create a vibe coding prompt for a simple idea for a task app, be creative, add features, etc. We're going to go like this, and then it's going to create a prompt for us. We're going to let that run. But yes, we're going to paste this prompt in here, generate the website, and then we can talk back and forth with this AI agent to create the perfect site with whatever we want. And what I love about this is you can even get an image of another site and paste it in here, and then it's actually going to create the site based on that image. And that applies to Figma mockups, hand-drawn sketches, or even your competitor's website. So if I wanted to create a review site, I could go to say sitejabber.com, screenshot their site, put it in here, and then this would create all very similar UI just based off that image, which is great for branding and a massive shortcut for you when you're trying to figure out how to get a good site off the ground or a good idea off the ground without having to go to graphics designers, developers. It's all literally right here where you can just have it on easy site. So that's good stuff there. We've got our prompt here from Grok. So let's just copy and paste this whole thing. Let's just go ahead and say, uh, let's, let's just do the whole thing here and see what, see what happens. We're gonna go all the way to the top here. It's quite a lot. There's quite a lot here, but that is absolutely fine. A galactic task management app. I like it. Okay, go with the space theme here today. And then all we're gonna do is go to text then we're going to paste that prompt in here and press generate my website. And then this thing's basically going to read this whole prompt in literally under a second and get coding right away, as you can see on the right hand side. So let's let this thing cook for a few minutes and then I'll come back and we'll see what it's come up with. So as you can see, it's saying your blank project awaits. This is more of a template screen, but it's actually going to preview this in a minute. But first it's asking us if we want to enable a database. So here we can see it's, there's an enable database button we can click that and then choose what type of database we want whether it's text to report a custom database super based database which you can also connect with in the top right here or as we were talking about earlier the easy site database so this is going to be their built-in database to quickly store and manage application data without any configuration so no api keys no permissions it's all here we just select this option we press save easy as anything and now we're going to continue coding and wait for this beautiful preview to arrive now if we go to the settings we can actually see that we can add assets to this so if we have our own image set from our graphic designer for example we could put it in here and the AI will place it where we want which is fantastic we can also add videos and other things but you can also actually connect custom domains directly from this platform now some of these other features are pretty cool we've got a chatbot so we can actually give the chatbot knowledge bases on whatever company we're, we're having or whatever we have here. We can have that enabled or disabled. We can add web hooks. We can improve SEO here, although it's written most of this for us and it does SEO pretty well. And then we can even manage our email system on the settings page of this as well. So normally with other AI vibe coding apps, guys, all of this stuff or most of it at least will be via going onto a different tab finding a platform, then connecting that platform to this platform. It can be an absolute nightmare from someone who isn't that technical. So having everything available all in one place at a fingertips reach, I mean, this is something that is groundbreaking and the amount of apps and high quality apps you can create with this are crazy. Now it's not just limited to marketing, SEO and email. It also has Stripe in which yes, you can just put in your Stripe API key. Obviously Stripe is its own platform, which obviously will have its own API key, but that's payments. We can also integrate different things here such as Google Google login, Facebook login, Google Maps, if it was a Maps app, and 3JS here as well. And if we like our project and we want to share it, then there is a browse and explore section on this platform. So you can actually just share it to that and it could even get its own traction from that point as well. And now it's saying my app is complete, but we can see that it's not previewing anything. So if this happens, normally what I do here, guys, is just say the preview isn't showing, please fix, and then throw that in there. And it's gonna code for a little bit longer and then we should get a decent preview 
preview here after that. So now it's actually taken what I've said and then done a little bit of work. And now we can see that the preview is showing. So we can actually click on the full screen here and see what this looks like. So as you can see here, there are a few issues on the right hand side here, but overall the app looks pretty good for a first draft. So what we can do here, we can go to the mission control center, right? This is where we can manage all of our tasks. And we've got the warp drive section, which you can see here, uh, which will basically just give us a target mission in which, yes, we can actually set a time for this and then engage warp drive. That's pretty cool. Then we've got a commander section, which will show us all the analytics and our profile. I think this is really decent. We've got achievements, starships here that we could actually purchase and analytics. So this thing's definitely gone out of its way to make something that's pretty in-depth and intuitive. Let's create a mission here and see how that goes. So on the left-hand side, we can say blah, 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 blah. Priority, high orbit, critical. So this is the obviously the task priority. Low orbit will be obviously not a task that needs doing quickly. This would be the medium. This would be the critical task. So that's pretty cool there. You can see the mission sector. We've got work, nebula, personal, side quest, health and fitness, and learning. So basically any personal improvement stuff we can actually select here. So let's just go with work, estimated duration, let's say 60 minutes, and then create mission. So here we can see it's actually created this mission for us. And if I move myself over, you can see on the right hand side, that's pretty cool. We've got the priority and then we have a little edit button or a bin button here as well. So that's really cool. Let's say we've completed this task. So that's what it's created. Now, if we wanted to turn this into an app, what we can do is actually see this on the mobile side. So you can see it's come up pretty nicely. We can also make changes here on the left hand side, uh, or we can actually go in and edit the code ourselves by bringing up the code tab here. So if you are a coder, you're just using AI to kind of speed things up, then you can do all of that with this, which I think is really, really cool. Now, if we wanted to just create an APK, we can do that on this platform. And I've not actually found a platform that you can do this so easily on. So all we've got to do is press generate Android app. We're gonna select that, we're gonna give the app a name, a logo here. Let's just throw this logo in here. Once that's uploaded, we can just press generate Android app and then it's gonna give us a QR code which we can scan, download that app directly to our phone and then run the app from a local source. And I think that's really cool without having to connect to all the databases or another platform so you can export it, all of this stuff. Uh, all of it is available right here on the website. And that is something I've not seen before when it comes to AI vibe coding. So really, really cool from EasySight. Now, how much does this all cost? Well, we've seen that this is miles ahead of any of the competition. So you'd expect it to be quite expensive. But when we're looking at this right here, you can see it's literally only 10 bucks a month. You're going to get private public projects, 10 free credits, and a bunch of other things here, as you can see, including CRM records and all of the other stuff we've talked about here. Obviously, we've talked about emails, we've talked about a bunch of other things, but uh, yeah, you get all of it here for the 10 bucks a month. And if you want more stuff such as hosting domains and all of this stuff, then yes, you can just pay 25 bucks, super, super cheap. When you're comparing this to a UI design artist, graphic designer, video designer, developer, I mean, all of that is now not needed. And we can literally just pay, literally I'm paying a hundred bucks a month and I can make an app in literally an hour and it will be monetizable, <laughs> right? So it's pretty crazy what you can do with this. And it's probably saved me tens of thousands of dollars when we're talking about my businesses. So cool stuff there definitely check this out in the description guys because this is something I've not seen before and it's really really good so this is the pinnacle of AI definitely consider getting this one but that is easy site definitely check it out in the description I will see you guys in the next video cheers